Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics and welcome to episode three of Tank Tuesday, the series where you guys send your aquariums into this email address and I review them and rate them out of five stars. In the last episode, episode two, I exposed the email address for the first time and I have not looked at the inbox yet. I guarantee we have hundreds, if not thousands of tanks to look at. Even if you already sent in photos, unless you're like one of the first people to do it, it's probably gonna be a while before I get to you, but be patient. I plan on continuing this series for a while. So, I mean, I'm gonna try to get to everyone, but it's it's, it's gonna take a while. Uh, but before we get started, I should feed the cichlids. Cause in the last episode, they were going crazy, hopping all over the place. So we're just gonna get that out of the way real quick. There you go, buddies. So we'll give them a sec to munch it up and then we'll get started. A few moments later. All right, so let's just take a look at how many submissions we've got. Oh, it's, it's right up here, 223. Okay, I thought it might be a little higher, but that's good. That means we're gonna get to all these sooner. So we can just filter to the oldest. I do all these like first come first serve. And yeah. All right, so this is where we left off. All right, so the first one we got is Hunter. Looks like he has an axolotl tank and a beta tank. So let's take a look at the axolotl tank. He said this was a 32 and a half gallon. And first of all, I love the like shape of the tank. It's like a flex. It was a flex something, I forgot the name. But it's by Fluval, and I know Fluval makes some really cool looking tanks. And yeah, we got a couple of, you can see one of the axolotls right here in the open, and it looks like the other one's over here in the cave. And I don't know too much about axolotls, but I know that you're supposed to have at least one hide per axolotl, so they each have their own like home, which he does, so that's good. As far as plants and stuff go, I don't know like if you're supposed to have fake or real. Like some stuff, it is actually better to have fake plants, so I don't know if that's the case here. So I'm pretty much just gonna rate this off of what I know and how it looks. And with that being said, I'll give this one a 3.25. Then over to the beta tank right here. And wow, this one looks absolutely gorgeous. It's another fluval tank. I think he said this was a 15 gallon. And yeah, this one is just really pleasing to look at. We got live plants, driftwood, rocks. This is definitely one of the better tanks I've seen like in one of these videos. Yeah, this just looks really good. He said this was a beta tank and 15 gallons is easily enough for a beta fish. So I don't see it in there. I don't know if he said it was in there or not. But yeah, this is a beautiful tank. So I'm gonna give this one four and a half stars. Next up, we got Andres. Looks like we got a turtle tank here. It is sideways. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good sized tank. Probably like a, probably right around 55 to 75 gallons. Yeah, we got two red-eared sliders, some blood parrots, just like what I got, and some goldfish. So yeah, two pretty decent sized red-eared sliders. One thing I'm noticing right away is these like pebbles down here. Those are definitely the size where your turtles could accidentally eat them and hurt themselves so it would definitely be better if those were not in there i don't see a basking area in these pictures um i might just not be able to see it it might be in here somewhere but if you don't have a basking area obviously you're gonna need one of those other than that tank is not bad to look at i'm not sure about the whole sick lid going with goldfish combination i personally wouldn't do that as far as a rating goes i'm gonna give this one two and a half stars next up we got jasmine she just sent one photo and yeah this appears to be a five and a half gallon tank all i see is guppies in here lots of artificial decorations it's got like a pirate theme to it one thing i really like is like the fade between the different colored gravels you can see all blue over here all purple over here and then it like fades together and yeah for just a few guppies this tank is completely fine as a lot of you probably know i don't hate on fake plants i still use a bunch of fake plants everyone knows live plants are usually better but hey fake plants are just easier to care for so yeah this looks like a pretty solid beginner tank setup i'll give this one uh three stars next up we got jacob this also looks to be a five and a half gallon and yeah right away we got some lucky bamboo looks like it's popping out of the filter that's pretty cool i've never seen people have it in the filter before then some more artificial plants we got a looks like a platinum beta same kind that i have beautiful beta looks like a mixed substrate we got some smaller stuff this might be like some sand mixed in over here and some bigger gravel on the top this is a cool little decoration right here it looks to be artificial and then this might be a real plant right here in anubius yeah i think both of those are so yeah a little mixture of fake and live plants nothing wrong with that not a bad looking tank i like the bamboo in the filter so i will give this one 3.25 next up we got toby all right so a heavily planted tank got lots of floaters up here as well as some stuck in the substrate this one looks to be like tied to this piece of driftwood a bunch of different kinds of tetras one thing i would say is like most tetras prefer to like school with their own kind so maybe i don't really know how much more room you have in that tank but maybe give them some buddies or upgrade the tank and then give them some buddies but yeah i like the large amount of plants looks like a strong and powerful light for that so i'll give this one 3.6 
75. Next up we got Matt. Looks like a hexagonal tank right here with the American flag in the background. Got some community fish in here. I see some guppies, a couple angels, a gourami right there. Looks like a breeder box up here, so maybe he has some babies in there. Live plants down here. Driftwood, rocks, awesome. We got some kind of plant up here. It looks, it looks like it's fake some fake ivy but well, that's a good idea to like cover up the light this tank could probably use some like taller decorations to take up more of this like empty space up here but this plant right here looks like it's gonna grow in so maybe just get a couple more plants that are supposed to grow nice and tall but yeah not a bad tank at all i'll give this one 3.25 next up we got c clutch and he is a member so shout out to my boy c clutch this is his 45 gallon african cichlid tank and right off the bat looks really good this looks like a live plant right back here this one obviously is not really nice looking piece of driftwood right here and a couple other rocks got a power head right up here to keep some strong water movement and yeah some beautiful african cichlids in here so yeah pretty sweet tank i'll give this one 3.75 next up we got alex and this is his pink belly side neck turtle tank he's got an above tank basking area right here and it looks like the front wall is actually like a piece of plexiglass or something something see-through so that's a really cool idea he can see his turtle a lot clearer when he's basking here's a closer look at the pink belly side neck looks just like toby we got sand as a substrate Looks to be pretty fine grain. Nice piece of driftwood here in the middle, then some artificial plants. With turtles, I don't really think it matters if your plants are real or fake. If they're real, they might eat them, which is like fine. It's a source of natural nutrients or whatever. And then fake plants, they might bite it a couple times, but they will quickly realize that it's plastic and they can't eat it, and then they'll just leave it alone. But yeah, beautiful turtle. The tank is very well big enough for it, and I will give this tank 3.25. This one is from Isaiah. A pretty good sized community tank, probably a 55 or a 75. And yeah, this is a super simple scape and I've seen stuff like this before. Just a big central plant in the middle and then a bunch of rocks around it. It's super simple but something about it just looks really cool to me. You have lots of open swimming space on both sides of the tank but it's not just completely empty. So got some beautiful angels in there, a couple rainbow fish, some kind of tetra. This one looks like a Colombian tetra in that one. So yeah I love angels, I love rainbow fish. And yeah I like the simple tank design and we got a good size moss ball right here. But yeah I like this tank. I'm gonna give it a 3.25. Next up we got Jake. He said this is a 55 gallon tank and we have a bunch of chala wood. You can see it's like a different looking kind of driftwood. It's got a bunch of holes and slits in it. So that's awesome. And then we got some live plants on both sides of the tank. Looks like a couple of blood parrots right down there and some kind of ram right there. We got double filters just like I got. I like the black sand but one thing I would add to this tank is just more plants. I think having a lot more green here in the middle would like blend everything together a lot better. But yeah, not bad. I'm gonna give this one three stars. And yeah, that is where we're gonna end this video. Of course, if you didn't see yourself in this video but you sent in your tank i will hopefully get to it eventually and once again if you do want to send in your tank i will have the email address right here catankreview at gmail.com it's going to take a while before i get to all these so just be patient with me in case you don't know i put out one of these videos every other tuesday and yeah today's comment of the day goes up too and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you like this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next video Thank you.